Yeah, g'day, it's uh, Charlie ZL2 CTM. Um, just thought I'd do a few more experiments on the audio amp um, based on a comment made by Ian on the last uh, video about the potential of using two op amps, which would then um, allow the ability to um, have that first op amp presenting a 51 ohm load to the double to the double balance modulator, which is which is certainly ideal. Um, because that double balance modulator or the, the product detector in the single sideband receiver um, would ideally like to see 50 ohms. So what we have here is, let me just do a bit of a zoom up. We've got um, two NE5534s. Um, so just before we go there, I'll sort of just come back a bit. Um, that's what so I'm just playing around with at the moment. So it's essentially um, two NE5534s uh, in series, then leading into our um, our push pull amplifier there with the two tip, the tip 32 and the tip 31. Um, I'll talk about the gain in a sec, the gain distribution. Um, the only differences from the other radio is um, I just grabbed out of the junk box um, a couple of 20k resistors for setting that. Um, pin 3 to halfway between uh, VCC and ground. Um, the only reason for 20k is because I couldn't find any 33k ohms. And really at the end of the day it's just about setting that halfway and not having a huge amount of current flowing through. So you know, 20k is fine. Could be 210k's or whatever. Um, same on the second uh, NE5534. Again 220k's. Um, didn't bother this time. Um, you can, you can't um, have that uh, pin 3 bypass to earth in terms of for audio for a capacitor so I haven't bothered with this particular one uh, there goes that 51 ohm resistor coming in um, and with a feedback of 37k for the second one I've just arbitrarily chosen for the input resistance to be 1k and then I'm just playing around with that value there to set the overall gain for that particular stage and halfway between the two is a, uh, a 50k ohm pot for the volume control. Why 50k? Because I didn't have any 10k's lying around so I just used the 50k. It's just more for experimenting. Um, the other thing too which I just used for this one um, were 22 microfarad capacitors as opposed to 10 microfarads. Again it was just the ones I had readily at hand so I decided to use those. Um, other than that uh, that's about all. So we'll just have a look at the um, how well it performs and then do a little bit of a few experiments with the gain distribution. As you can see here in the default position, um, there's a, a, a large amount of gain on this stage here. Um, gain should be minus RF over RN, so 37k over 51. Whereas you can see here on the second stage, it's only 1.5k over 1k, uh, which is quite a bit less. But you'll see um, when we start to play around with trying to increase the gain here and decrease the gain there to get the overall gain for those two stages um, it impacts quite severely the um, frequency response which is uh, of interest so anyway so what we have here is is the setup um, we've got the first um, op amp there, the 5534 there, we've got the second one and like I say those two tip devices providing the output um, this switch box here is um, is the RF or the feedback resistor for the first stage and this rotary um, resistor box here is the feedback resistor for the second stage. And as you can see there, um, you probably can't actually, this one's set on 30 plus 4 plus 3 equals 37 and this one over here is currently on 1.5k. So in terms of the scope, um, let me just crank up the volume a little bit. So hopefully you can still hear me talking over top of that. That is sweeping from 300 hertz through to 6 kilohertz. Um, so what we can see there quite nicely is the gain at the low frequencies is pretty well constant up to about that sort of five or so kilohertz and then we start to see the drop off. Um, that is sitting on about 2.2 volts um, which is essentially the exactly the same gain as we had 
um, with the with the other amplifier. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, just play around with the gain settings. So I'm going to increase. Um, it's come out a bit. I apologise for uh, the jerkiness of here, but it's just sort of playing around. What we'll do here is we'll increase for that second stage. It's gained up to say 10. So now we've got 10k over um, that 1k, and we'll look to decrease this a bit. Try to get ourselves back into um, some kind of linear range. So let me just go back to say let's give that um, 10k. So we're starting to get there at the very low frequencies. You can see the distortion coming in there. So we need to decrease our gain a bit. So let's make that four and three make seven. Okay, we can just see at the low frequency. Still got some distortion there. So we'll drop that down to four and three makes five. Right, so what I'll do there, I'll just, um, I'll, I'll leave it sweeping, but we can see here it's at the low frequencies, the 300 hertz, we're still pretty close to 2 volts coming out, but very quickly the gain drops right off. So having that first stage have um, less gain, and that second stage having more gain, is really impacting quite a bit the, the overall frequency response, which is um, interesting. So I'll return that first um, RF back to 30, what do we say, 37. So 30, 34 plus 3 makes 7. And we'll drop that second feedback resistor back down to 1.5k. There we are now, we're still linear all the way through, so we're not getting any distortion, so we're not overdriving it and starting to square off our waveform. And we're now back to... Um, a nice frequency response, and certainly a, a, a flat frequency response through to at least 6k there, which is more than we need really uh, after 2.7k max, flat. So, um, that was interesting, and I haven't put too, many, too much thought into why that might be, but um, I guess that sort of answers the... Um, that sort of answers the question that, yeah, yes indeed, there's, there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't run with um, two, two op-amp stages driving that, um, that push-pull amplifier in order to, to allow us to present uh, that nice 51 ohm resistor to um, our product detector. I guess the only reason why I've sort of decided to go with, with the other one, um, right or wrong, is it just sort of, you know, more sort of analogue circuitry, but well, Arguably these are analog, but more discreet. Um, so yeah, anyway, so that was sort of, a, that was interesting. Um, I might sort of keep that circuit diagram there, um, just in the notes, and perhaps next time I'm building a radio, that might be a nice option, as opposed to the 5534, and this stage here being replaced by uh, the LM380, um, which is certainly an option as well. And, and our interest rate to there, so I was getting 2.2 volts out for 30 millivolts in, so 20 log V out of the V in is 37 dB, so overall gain was 37 dB for this. Um, that's 100 microfarads, not 1000. Uh, okay, well I think that's about all, so yeah, interesting. Um, probably won't labour the point there. So I will say 73s, and uh, we'll continue on with uh, probably the crystal filter or the VFR. I'm still thinking about what's the best way of going there. Okay, cheers all.